Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning to all This is Nur Mahmud Today, inshallah, we are going to start From chapter 2, lesson number 8, 9 and 10 Okay, let's start from lesson 8 First of all, Surah Al-Inshira Surah Al-Inshira is one of the Maki Surahs. The total number of its ayat is 8. And the root word Nashra, the title of this Surah has been titled. And you have to know the Shani Nuzul or cause of revealing the Surah. We know before the receiving prophethood of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our great Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was known as Al Amin in his society. Everyone trusts him. That's why he was known as Al Amin. But when he received prophethood and invited them towards monotheism, that means La ilaha illallah, there is no Lord but Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Almighty Allah. Then the people of Makkah began to oppose him and started to ridicule and harass him in different ways. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this surah. And this is the Shani Nuzul. And we have to know some important word meaning let's start lam nashra lam nashra you may underline lam nashra we have not opened or expanded next the important word israk your burden next zahrak your back next rafana we have elevated next the important word zikrak your fame and next fang sub then put in your efforts express your submission or worship and fargab pay attention be inclined the last two words are most important among the all other words Okay, students, let's uh, start the surah as well its translation. A'uzu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Alam nashrah laka sadrak wa wadu'ana anka fisrak alladhi anka da zuhrak wa rafa'ana laka dhikrak fa inna ma'al usri isra inna ma'al usri isra فَإِذَا فَرَغْتَ فَانْصَبْ وَإِلَى رَبِّكَ فَرْغَبْ سُنَّكَ اللَّهُ الْعَصِيمُ Number one ayat أَلَمْ نَشْرَحْ لَكَ صَدْرَكْ Have we not expanded your chest? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned to his prophet وَوَضُعَنَا أَنْكَ فِزْرَكْ And we have removed your burden Next number three أَلَّذِي عَنْكَ ذَا ذُحْرَكْ Whatever was pressing your back to break or bend it by causing pain. وَرَفَعَنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكْ And we have heightened your fame. I mean increased your fame. فَإِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ إِسْرَى Surely with hardship goes ease and comfort. إِنَّ مَعَ الْعُسْرِ إِسْرَى Certainly with hardship goes comfort. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala repeated the Meaning, 5 and 6, the meaning of the verses uh, are same. فَإِذَا فَرَقْدَ فَانْصَبْ So as you find laser, you do worship your Lord. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasis is uh, to utilize our time properly. And number 8, وَإِلَى رَبِّكَ فَرَقَبْ And concentrate on your nourisher, I mean Lord. So totally, the Surah 
we reveal to our great Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explanations uh, explanation just you have to explain the Shani Nuzul then you can easily find out the total explanation and I hope you will make a note about this and what are the teachings especially let's just teachings of this sura here are some important points are described number one he who strives for truth and justice Allah the Most High expands his heart and shows him the path of truth number two it is Allah the Most High who removes the sufferings of man number three man's name and fame honor and prestige all are at the disposal of Allah the Most High he bestows honor and status on whomsoever he desires totally depends on Allah number four sorrow and pain are inevitably linked up with man's life so to despair at sorrows and sufferings is of no avail rather all these must be faced with fortitude and number five each moment of life is valuable so this is the valuable time must be utilized duties and obligations must be justly discharged after the preoccupations with mountain matters man must engage himself in servitude to and worship of Allah the Most High these are the teachings of this surah okay students uh, next lesson number nine I'm going to speed you away today because this surah is most import, uh, very easy to you if you read line by line properly just I'm highlighting the important topics and just I'm sharing with you you have to ensure that you will read properly at your home lesson number 9 surah atin most important surah most important surah for the exam as well uh, this is the 95th surah of Al-Quran and it contains 8 ayats total 8 verses here and the ayat of this surah uh, are mainly two categories first three ayats and the last five ayats inshallah we will try to discuss shani nuzul shani nuzul actually uh, this surah was not sent down in contact of any event or situation but that's why it's an, uh, it has no shani nuzul uh, exactly Rather, Allah the Most High has revealed it as a direction for man for achieving total success in this life and to remind him of his accountability in next life. We know that there are two lives. We are here, this is the mundane life and our this life is temporary for us and another life will waiting for us. We waited for us, this, this life will start but never will be end this life is our next life our akira and we have to uh, face some accountability towards almighty lord in that life and in this regards allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed this surah and let's start first of all the this, the surah أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والتين والزيتون First of all, the ayat number one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make oaths uh, uh, the two fruits one is fig and another is olive by the fig and the olive number two وطور سينين by Mount Tur and Tract of Sinai وهذا البلد الأمين and by this secure city here secure city uh, means the city of Makkah. Uh, sir, city of Makkah is a renowned city, you know. Our great Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was born in this city. And the sacred and the holy Kaaba was situated, is situated, located in this, uh, in here. That is why here it is indicated as a secure city. Next, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, first time I, first of all I said that the ayats or the verses of this surah are two categories first of all three ayats here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned oaths of fig olive tour mountain and tract of Sinai and the secure city 
total five things. Next, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, لَقَدُ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ فِي أَحْسَنِ تَقُوِيمِ Surely we have created man in the best form. Among the all other creature, creations in this world, human being is the best. Next, ثُمَّ رَوَدَدَنَاهُ أَسْفَلَ سَافِلِينَ Then we reduced him as the meanest. Here, actually, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned those person who does not believe, don't believe in the aspects of Islam. For those person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned this verse. And next, number six, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ فَلَهُمْ أَجْرٌ غَيْرُ مَمْنُونَ there are being such exceptions, those who have faith and do good deeds and they shall enjoy unending favors. Next, number seven, فَمَا يُكَذِّبُكَ بَعْدُ بِالدِّينِ So, O oh man, what distracts you from remembering the Day of Judgment? أَلَيْسَ اللَّهُ بِأَحْكَمِ الْحَاكِمِينَ Don't you take Allah for the best of all judges? So, uh, in the last part, of this surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns men about the next life. There is in this surah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises of paradise for those who do good deeds and are pious and religious. Okay, let's start uh, to discuss the teachings. Already I have explained, so no need to explanations again. And teachings of this surah. Teachings here are mentioned total five points. Let's start number one. Man is the best and the most beautiful among all created beings. Undoubtedly, it's right. And number two, man's honor and dignity are relative to his good deeds. Evil deeds lower man to a level lower than that of beats. Number three, the good doers shall enjoy unending favors and amenities in the next life. Number four, Allah the Most High is the greatest of all judgment. On the last day of judgment, He shall call for the accountability of man's deeds. Number five, Allah the Most Great has fully warned us about Akhirat. So, I think you are clear in this regard. Next lesson number 10, Surah Al-Ma'un. Another important Surah, Surah Al-Ma'un. Uh, Surah Al-Ma'un exactly this is the 107 Surah of Al-Quran uh, it contains 7 ayats and belongs to Maki category Surah uh, okay sorry I didn't maybe I didn't mention the important words from Surah Atin let's start Surah Atin the important word meaning first of all Tin Tin fig fruit Zaitun olive fruit. Next, uh, next, Al Balad, Balad, Al Baladi town or city. Khalakuna, Khalakuna, we have created. Khalakuna, we have created Al Insan, man or mankind. Next, Ahsan. Ahsan, extremely beautiful. The, I mean, most beautiful. Most beautiful. Next, Aswalihat, good deeds. Next, the last two words. Ahkam, the best of all judges. Ahkam, al hakimin the judges. Okay, so okay. Uh, next, the Surah. Lesson number 10, Surah Al-Ma'un. Okay, let's start the first word meaning. Arwa'ita. Have you seen? Arwa'ita. Have you seen? Next, the word, the important word, al-yatim. Al-yatim means orphans. We know. Usually, we use in Bangla, yatim. Uh, next, tu'am. Tu'am means food or sustenance. Next, al-miskin. Right side, you may look. Al miskin, needy or destitute. Uh, next, the last word, al ma'un, pity things or articles of daily or domestic use. 
Okay, let's discussions about the translation of this surah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ara'ayta alladhi yukadhibu biddin. Have you seen him who falsifies religion? Here are uh, three first three ayats. Here are indicated uh, uh, indications of the kafir. Those person who don't believe uh, the aspects and the symptoms or signs of the Almighty Lord in this world about kafir. And the last ayats, I mean last uh, last four ayats, last four ayats are indicated uh, to our, uh, about al munafik or hypocrites. Okay, number three. One, two, and three. Ara'ayta alladhi yukadhibu biddin. Have you seen him who falsifies religion? Number two. Fadhalika alladhi yadu'u al-yateem. Such is that he does not entertain an orphan. Here are discussed about the characteristics of a kafir. Number three. Wala yahuddu ala tu'ami al-miskin. And does not encourage offering food to the needy. Number four. Fawailul lil-musfallin. Then O to the prayer of offerers. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the character of munafiq or hypocrites. Those Alladina hum ang salatihim sahun for they are inattentive to it. To it means to perform prayer. Number six Alladina hum Iraun who make a show of their salat. They don't extend help even with triplets. Triplets means pity articles of our daily use or domestic use in our house. These four ayats reveal to Munafik, the characters of Munafik. This surah uh, specially furnishes an account of the nature and attractives of kafirs and uh, hypocrites already I have discussed. Just we need uh, the teachings of this surah. It is a very vile act not to believe in the day of judgment. Only kafirs and munafiks can do it. Because they are the different from imandar or momin. Number two, the orphans and distressed are not to be ordered off, rather they should be helped and supported as far as possible. Number three, the members of one's family, Keith and Keen, friends and comrades, neighbors, all should be encouraged to help and cooperative with the orphans and the distressed people in our society, in our family. Number four, Salat must not be neglected on any pretext. Salat should not be intended for making a show. Rather, Salat should be performed with the purest intention only for the pleasure of Allah the Most High only. And number five, for a person showing indifferences to Salat, they are averse perdition. That's all for Surah Al Ma'un. Students, uh, I have discussed in uh, very speedy or rapidly the these three lessons lesson number nine uh, eight nine and ten surah inshira surah teen uh, and surah al maun and in our next class uh, inshallah we will try to discuss about our second source of islamic sharia that means sunnah and you know that from this surah, those surah we have discussed in our previous lectures, lecture number two, lecture number, uh, lecture number three, and lecture number one, surah Doha, surah, surah Doha, surah Inshira, and surah Ashams as well. So some surahs we have discussed. I think you will make a note from every important topics. In this regard and in this surah and these are the most important for our upcoming exam as well our board exam and for the students of class 9 uh, I will tell you that you are getting a huge time for preparing your yourself for your board exam because you are getting two years 
and we are staying now at home as like as quarantine so try to utilize your most valuable time inshallah in our next class we will start from lesson 11 and you know that maybe you have got a note uh, about uh, some short questions as well some uh, some short question and as well some one word types of questions uh, I uploaded inshallah um, by the by this way inshallah I will make another note for you inshallah I will upload thank you so much pray for us so that we can free very soon thank you so much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh